Can I ask you why you decided to campaign to have a peace garden in Wellington? Well, I'd always wanted to do something um, uh, against war and in favour of peace. And I, I, I'd never known what to do. Uh, and somehow or other, uh, about a year ago, the idea of a peace garden began and it, it sort of grew and it took shape and uh, it started off by being a, a, a peace memorial. Um, I thought we've had got war memorials all over the place and uh, why don't we have a peace memorial because peace is much more wonderful than any sort of a war. War's all right in books, uh, it, it's all right in films, it's, it, it's fine, a, a piece of fiction or, for that matter, a bit of history. But when you're actually in the middle of a war uh, and you're, you're being shot at, you realise just how thoroughly horrible and stupid the whole thing is. Uh, and. Uh, a while back, I, I was accosted by a, a, a German who, uh, who who said to me, "You shot over the heads, didn't you?" And I said, "Yes." And he said, "So did I." And uh, we understood each other because we'd both been in the same war and we'd been shooting over each other's heads. And that sort of stirred up my anti-war feelings. I, I, and I feel that people don't understand just how horrible war is. Uh, and then, I, I don't know, that uh, began to be, let's do something about it. Let's do something that will prevent war. Let's do something that will start in Wellington and maybe spread all over. And, and so it's got to be nice and simple. And so uh, we'll have um, a piece of land that will belong to the council. So let's try and find a piece of land that belongs to the council that they aren't doing anything with. And there's all sorts of odds and ends of bits and pieces of council land that uh, you can't build on, you can't put it by a road on or anything can't park a car on uh, and so um, eventually I found a bit and I asked the leader of the council what he thought about it and he said great idea ah oh, fine the only trouble was that he lost the next election the, the month afterwards uh, so I went and saw the um, the new leader of the council, having congratulated him on beating my mate, <laughs> the last leader of the council, uh, I, I said, can I have a bit of land for a peace garden? And he said, peace garden? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, yes. And, uh, and so then it is, uh, and it, it, it began sort of slowly and began to take shape and uh, let's not spend any money because we've got a recession and all that and you can't get any money out of anybody so let's not spend any money let's just spend time and trouble and uh, let's have a lot of different organizations and religions and clubs and schools and all sorts taking their part and individuals too and people who haven't got any religion and wouldn't and never did like school and uh, wouldn't want to join any anybody's club, we want them to do it too. Uh, but uh, what happens when it's vandalised or when somebody starts pinching the plants? Well, it's quite simple. You don't buy anything expensive. So when uh, if plants and things go from the garden, you just replace them, get something cheap. Uh, and 
we are actually going to do it this year and, and I'm looking forward to it enormously because uh, uh, I've got to stir up Wellington in uh, January and February and then in March they're going to open the new council buildings and the Peace Garden at the same time. And I think uh, I, I'm going to get uh, people from the, 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 the two local councils who are going to uh, plant probably peace roses or something like that. Uh, and I think they want me to plant one in between them because one's conservative and the other one's Labour and uh, they wouldn't want to be too close to each other. Uh, and um, I'm beginning to think that we need some volunteers to look at the uh, uh, the garden every now and then and go over it and tidy it up and take out the litter and uh, um, yeah. I think it, I, I think it's going to be quite wonderful. I just, just hope I can live long enough to see it started. Uh, and then it can go on and on and on.